In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets in bulk. So let's say that you have the details of your clients or customers, employees in your Google Sheet, like name, email address, contact number. Now what you want is that you should be able to send messages in bulk to all these people who are there in your Google Sheet on a particular day at a particular time for some specific event. How can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate Google Sheet with some application that can help you in sending WhatsApp messages. Here we are using Interact. Now you have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your action application would be Google Sheet, another action application would be Interact and your trigger application would be Schedule where you are going to schedule this workflow. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for public connection. As we do that, we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that let's say that it is a public day and I want to send bulk messages to everyone whose name is there on my Google Sheet. So I've got the details in my Google Sheet, let's say name, address and email address, then contact number. So I want to send everybody a message on a particular day. So I have written send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets in bulk. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we can see that we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically action here, this is the response of your trigger application. So in this particular integration, first I'm going to schedule my workflow so that it can run on a particular day at a particular time. So I'm going to look for schedule. Here it is. Now, how often do I want my workflow to run? So I want it to run at one particular day. So I have written once. Now you can select the date. So today is 27th. I'm going to show you for today. And right now it is 4.29 p.m. So here I'm going to make it 4. And uh, let's say it is 4.35. Okay. And p.m. Once done, let's click on save. Here we can see that our workflow has been scheduled. Now, I want my application to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to get rows. And now I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with a Google Sheets account. Let's click on add new connection, sign in with Google. Here we have to select the account once done. We have to provide the access. I'm going to click on allow. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now here we have to select the name of the spreadsheet. So let me show you the spreadsheet that I have created. So this is my spreadsheet. The name is employee details. This is sheet one. Here I've got the following column fields, name, email address, and contact number. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to look for the spreadsheet. Here it is, employee details. Now, since there was only one sheet, so it has already been captured by the system. Here we have to enter the range. So the range starts from A2. Here you can see the cell value is A2. And now I want it to be till column C. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to write A2 and then you have to put a colon and here I have written C. Now I am not writing C4 or C5. Why? Because there will be more values in my sheet. So it has taken the entire range. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the API response. So these are the details of all the five users that are there in my sheet. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is here you can see that I have received simple response. I'm going to toggle this towards the left so that I can receive the advanced response. And now again, as I click on save and send test request, here you can see that I have received the data in array format. 
Okay, so I have received everything in one row. Now I'm going to choose a very interesting feature by Pabli, which is iterator. Here it is. So what does it do? It basically segregates the value and now you can receive the value of only the first row, only one row at a time. So let me show you as we click on save and send test request. This is the, these are the details that we have received only of the first row. Now I'm going to add another action step and this time my application would be interact. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to send WhatsApp template message. So Interact is a very interesting application that helps you in sending WhatsApp messages. Now here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Interact account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and to set up this connection, we need the secret key over here. So first you have to log into your Interact account. Once done, this is the hyperlink as we click on this. Here you can see that we have reached developer settings page. This is our secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over. Now let's click on save to set up this connection. And here we can see that the two applications are connected. Now here we need to provide the country code, then the phone number. If you have received the complete phone number, then you can map it directly over here. So now let me show you the number so i have received only the number there's no country code over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map this information how first here i'm going to write the country code manually plus nine one you can write your specific country code now comes the phone number so how do i map this as i click on this it is going to show me the previous steps i'll go to step three iterator and this here is my phone number so once this is done now you do not have to fill in this full phone number thing Come next comes the template code name. Now I'm sending a wish for the public day. So I already have created a few templates. Let me show you. So as I click on this hyperlink over here, here you can see these are the WhatsApp templates. So there is this Republic Day wishes. Um, now here you can see that first of all, we have the header and here you can select a text, an image, video or document. Here we have selected an image. Then we have got the body of the message. Hello, then there's a number within double curly braces. May the bright colors of the tricolor fill your life with patriotism and prosperity. Best wishes from team. Then there's another number on Republic Day. Now, what are these numbers? These numbers are basically variables which can get changed with every workflow. So these values will be mapped and every time when the workflow runs, so there will be new data. So it is going to inculcate that new data. Now the footer. So here I have entered powered by interact type stop to unsubscribe. Now here you have got options to create buttons. So here you can see, you know, when you're creating the template, you can try for call buttons. Now I haven't selected any, so it is showing me none. And here you can see that this is the name of your template. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste this template code name. And then we have the language code. So since this is English language and there's one language selected only, so I have written the code EN. Now comes the header value since we have selected an image. So here in my WordPress library, I have selected this image. I'm going to copy this URL to clipboard, go there and paste it over here. Next, we have the body variable values. Here we have got two variables. In the first variable, we have to map the name of the person and in the second, we have to map the name of the company. So first of all, I'm going to step three and this is the name. Now let's put a comma and here we have to map the name of the company. So since it is not going to change, I'm going to write this manually. It is a static value. I'm going to write Pabli Connect. Once this is done, now the position of CTA button, since we haven't selected any, we do not have to mention this. Also the value of variable in dynamic URL. Again, this is related to CTA button. We don't have to do this. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the API response, which basically says that our message must be sent on WhatsApp now. So let me check that. And here, yes, we can see that we have received a message. This is the image that we had added and here is the body copy. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to see what we have done. So here our trigger application was scheduled, which is a feature by Pabli where we have scheduled a workflow to run on a particular day at a particular time. Then our action application was Google Sheet where the event was to get rows. Then we had chosen another feature by Pabli Iterator where we have segregated the values. 
then our final action application was interact where we had sent whatsapp message template i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.